All right, Elohim Eternal the ba Babel Code. The developer actually actually emailed me to play this game, though I already had my library at the time. Anyways, I gotta find a decent volume setting that doesn't hurt my ears. I think 30 should be good. Now, when Joshua was near Jericho, he looked up and saw a man standing in front of him with a drawn sword in hand. Joshua went up to him and asked, Are you for us or for our enemies? Neither, he replied. But as a commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. Joshua 5.13-14 NIV Eyes on the wall, okay. There's no guide for this game, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty much gonna have to do this blind and maybe look things up in the forums if I get stuck. Why are there so many dots on the ground? Are those enemies? Treasures? Seems like a very weird place to put small little lights. Maybe they're for vehicles so they can see the ground in front of them? Hmm. Is this a mining area or something? Cosmo Craters. You who are born in the light of Hosanna to watch over and protect your children on Eden. Strengthen my resolve. Bless me with the spirit of my late father so that I may one day become like him, a judge in your service. Under Mount Sinai. A lot of biblical references, huh? Oh boy. Or Torah references. I'm not sure. Use your keyboard's arrow keys to move him, alright? Shift key, basic controls, yep. Okay. Cursor interact with people you encounter on your journey. Interactions indicate with a pop up icon. Okay, that's con convenient, just like the Tales games, or the recent Tales games. Talking to people means obtaining valuable information on the game's story and lore. You'll also be rewarded with experience. Sometimes the people you interact with will even give you items to use in your journey. Before you begin, we like to activate story mode. Leave it off. Please enjoy the game. Wait. I just realized there's no auto run. You have to- I actually do have to hold down the shift key the entire time. Why? Does that mean there's gonna be puzzles where running is actually disadvantageous? That's the only reason why they would ever and never not give you auto run. It so if they don't have an icon, there's no point in talking to them. They're just there for uh, 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 they're just there for the aesthetic. Joshua, this is no place for a soldier. My father died here. I have every right to see the place where he laid down his life for his people. Don't expect to see the spirit here, though. This damnable place sends a chill down my spine. Afraid of monsters? Shadim, of course I am. Have you ever fought a Shadim before? Here are some mutated beasts. You'd be wise to watch out for them. We are likely to see each other cre creatures down here. Maybe even canines. I hope we do. Hi, huh, just like your father, a fearless warrior. 50 EXP just for talking to you. Joshua, I didn't expect to see you here. Have you come to watch and catch a glimpse of the marvelous Mount Sinai Bridge? It is the greatest achievement of us, us prophets who were tasked with its design and construction. The most magnificent piece of architecture. I'm not surprised you'd want to sneak in a glance. But you mustn't stay long. Gamara has given strict orders that only a select group of judges and prophets are allowed here. What is the bridge made from? Why it takes so long to build a Sinai bridge? Were you one of the builders, Prophet Emoz? Yes, certainly magnificent. What is the bridge made from? Limestone and mortar. For the hell of Magia, of course. It took us two years to design it, and five years to build it. It took us even longer to recover from the battle at Mount Sinai, and for a council of judges to finally decide on this crossing. 
Why did it take you so long to build the Mount Sinai Bridge? The Council of Judges debated on where we should explore Mount Sinai, where it was part of our divine mission. Some judges believe Mount Sinai to be the place where Avram was chosen to lead the Edenites to battle against the Canaanites. Avram from the World Legacy? Others believe the disaster at the Battle of Sinai was a sign from the Cosmo Craters to seal off Mount Sinai for good. Yeah, the Council finally voted to explore it. What made them decide? Heritage went out in the end. A desire to see where our forefather Avram had once stood in battle the Canaanites. Okay. Were you one of the builders, Prophet Amos? I was, but only in the later stages of its completion. Several prophets died in the building of this bridge. Some fell to the bombless abyss. No safety standards. Could it truly be bombless or dead or down there? Judges, prophets, soldiers. The only thing you'll find down there is death, and the Abzu, the underworld, where the Canites call home. Canites seem to be some kind of demons? Yes, it's certainly magnificent. You be careful now, Joshua, and watch your step. 50 more EXP. I can talk to you again if I want to. Keep your voice about you, okay? But I don't think there's a way to distinguish between pe Is there a way to distinguish between people I already talked to? Yes, they- If I already talked to them, they, their talk bubble only shows up when they get close to them. Otherwise, it can be seen at further distances. Save anywhere, I hope. Yep. Good. I have a feeling I might need it. Do we have to cross a bridge? If you ask me, there's nothing here for us but trouble. Something wrong crossing a bridge, yes, sir? Of course there's something wrong crossing a bridge. First off, how sturdy is it? Can it hold the weight of all of us? I don't want to ride a horse through it. Men died building this bridge. We can't climb the mountain. We've tried. Men have died trying that too. True, it's a steep, treacherous mountain. Worse, it's a, a free. Its surface is freezing. Some kind of ice-cold rocks. Some say the bodies of the men who tried to climb it are frozen in place. And let's not forget the poisonous gases that hover around this peak. Nothing good can come from this place. Not one good thing. You may want to develop better technology after a few centuries, huh? So, what does the Council of Judges think we'll find? An early death. I'm only half joking. The Council thinks we'll find pieces of valuable history. Artifacts of our ancestors. The time of Avram, or so they say. You sound as though you don't believe them. It's not for me to say, especially to a soldier like you who is not yet a judge. I will be one day, just like my father before me. I have no doubts, Joshua. You're a pious man and a good fighter. I suppose the underlining reason for us being here is that we'll find some connection to the Cosmo Craters. You mean a pathway to the Kingdom of Heaven? Perhaps. Legend says that Avram walked with the Cosmo Craters. He must have done it somehow. But that would mean the Canaanites would ha have had access to the pathway as well. Those mindless murderers, that was my boy, the Canaanites speak an odd and decipherable language. I rec reckon the only one who can understand them is their false god, Ahix. Unix? I'll be fine. The Cosmo Craters watch over us. So the Cosmo Craters are the deities. I'm going to hold you to that. If something goes wrong, you'll be hearing from me. Level 5 just from talking to people, huh? Talents? Those, uh, is that currency? No, the bottom uh, 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 left icon should be currency. Maybe talents is whether you have to use to learn new skills? I'm not sure. Hmm. There's no main quests listed, though, so it might be difficult to keep track of the main story. What the? Am I being stopped by an enemy? Joshua Asa. Uh, did I hear something? Behind you! Wait, what? We're being attacked from behind? No, it's- it's in the- is it a party member? It's really crazy to think we'd have to go underground in order to scale a mountain. Lamech? Lamech, I- It's alright, I've already spoken to Gemara. Though you're not a judge of Jed Huda yet, you're under my tutelage and so he has allowed you to accompany us on this expedition. I guess he'll be the overleveled guy who's gonna carry my new bass. Yeah. Thank you. I need to see this place for myself. Only be- uh, just be careful. Are we expecting trouble? Some of the judges and prophets seem skittish. Hmm, ellipse- the ellipses is actually- uh, uh, actually has an audio file for it, huh? As they should be. No one knows what to expect down here. 
It's been over a decade since the battle at Mount Sinai. There could still be Canaanites lurking in the shadow. It's been years since the last known sighting of a Canaanite. They've been wiped out. Some say, uh, so, so say some of the judges. I'm more cautious, and so sh and so sh and you should be too. I pray the cosmo creators that there are still some of those Moleskine bastards left. Cur uh, curb that vengeance, it won't bring her back your father. It would please the cosmo creators to slay Canite scum. Still, keep your sword close to you and your shield closer. Canites may be destroyed, but there could still be Shadim. I don't know why you would tell your mother if something were to happen to you. I miss your father too. He was the greatest man I ever knew. Thank you, Uncle. I won't let you down. I'm ready for this. The place still reeks of smoke and ash from the explosive fires years ago. Does it jar your memory? I was lucky to be one of the few survivors in that battle. I remember fighting alongside her fire when the flashing, burning light blinded me. I heard screams then. Screams that still haunt me in my sleep. When I came to, all I saw was this endless pit of darkness and no way across. The Canaanites did this with their evil magia. They took the lives of the Edenites. They took my fire from me. Some prophets and oracles would say they used a kind of device known as an inferno. Some things have been used in wars before, but I have never experienced something so destructive. Enough to tear the very pillars that keep Eden together. A nuke? I've heard prophets and oracles say that there are more infernos scattered across Eden. Could they be right? I wouldn't doubt it. Can we use that technology ourselves? It's times like this I, when I'm reminded of how well I know about the world we live in. It's a frightening thought. Come, it took years to build this bridge. Now's our chance to finally conquer Mount Sinai. So is this entire... Is this game just going to take place over this one dungeon? So access the main menu. X or escape. Okay, items or codex. View your elemental magia and equip divine magia. Check your gear and change equipment. View your character status and accept the quest. Change game settings. Save breaks of the game. Okay, stats. Lev points, which is basically hit points. Nefesh points, MP. Divine gauge, TP. Elemental power. Divine power. Wait. It's not physical attack or magic attack. They're both divine and elements, huh? Is divine similar to physical attacks? I'm not sure. Hmm. Elemental ma uh, power would basically be your magic stat. Physical defense and magic defense. Agility measures how quick your reaction. Blessing measure overall luck. Magia is the most important aspect of Elohim Eternal. Each character has immediate access to several elemental magia that he or she is born with. Each character has a, has, also has access to a variety of divine magia. Divine magia has stored crystallos that are refined. Once refined, the crystallos can be equipped in the channels of an Edenite's Koshin. A Koshin is a hollow recess of an Edenite's crest which, when full of refined crystallos, give the Edenite their Cosmo Crater Giver power. Okay, good. They actually did give me a main quest to work with. Before we go further, take these. Is this? Five red Chris and bl three blue Chris. Don't be afraid to use them if you find yourself injured or too drained to use your magia. Healing items. Is this a ray head too? In case we run into any Shadim. Use it to learn the new weaknesses of Shadim and gain an advantage. Shadim are formidable foes. Some are resistant to certain types of magia. Make sure you know what to use against your enemy. Thank you, Uncle. Do we have a best DRE? Just be careful. I can't trust that enough. Now let's go. I may want to actually keep a. I may want to just keep my own pseudo best area in a in a word document. Wait, is this reusable? Because having only one of these seems kind of bad. Okay. Explore Mount Sinai for ancient artifacts and treasure. Hmm. All right. Let's see, is it random encounters or touch encounters? What the hell is that thing? It's money? I guess? Talent? There's two different currencies though. That's gonna be tricky. What's the flea rate in this game? Because it looks like there's gonna be random encounters, but I'm not finding anything right now. Ruak, okay. Is it all touch encounters or not? Blue Chris. It's gonna be hard to keep track of all this terminology. More money. 
Why is it blue, though? It just looks like some kind of blue s s smudge on the ground. What's the matter, Joshua? Still learning to walk? Huh, always- Ham, always a pleasure. You shouldn't be here. This is a mission for judges, not soldiers. I have permission from Gamara. Or is Lemek vouching for you again? What do you do to curry such favor? Is it because he's your uncle? Or do you lick his boots? Maybe wipe his ass for him. That's your superior you're talking about. Just because your father was a judge does not make you one. Now get out of my sight. Do I have to defeat this guy in a duel or some shit? Go on then, run along, soldier. You aren't worth it. What was that? Could it be them? A canite? Them who? Canites. Canites? Impossible. Don't be ridiculous. Get back, Joshua. I can fight too. I said get back. Holy shit, there's so many of them. Behind you. A one one duel against a canite, huh? Front view. Oh good, they have a... There's actually an indicator that tells you what elements have already been used on them. Joshua. I'll be alright, I can handle this. You need to find out what weakness the enemy has. Use the right how I gave you. You'll find your items. Reha on you. There's a there's a delay b when using any kind of action. Ow! It seems the enemy is weak to fire. Use your elemental magia and select the fire magia Lahat. When you hit the enemy with a weakness, you'll be given a chance to do a combo and inflict more damage. Sounds uh, familiar. Uh, sounds familiar to. Uh, uh, sounds similar to Star Stealing Prince. Combo circle will overlay uh, over the enemy, and the ring will close in the center of a circle. You need to hit the confirmation key at the right time to deliver more damage. Oh, come on! Timing! Hit too soon, you miss. The closer you get to the center of the combo circle, the more damage you inflict. Oh my god, that's gonna be tricky. I don't think I got it. I think I have to wait more. Oh my goodness. Joshua, use this right, Chris! Okay, good. He'll heal me because this is going to be tough to time. Ah, uh, I want to practice more, damn it. That timing is, is going to be tricky to get used to. Arg! I have to find another one. Okay, at least I know their weakness, but... T Two on one is very unfair. I don't even have any divinities I can use. Don't forget, if you need a heal, make sure you use the right Chris. Select guard command, you'll defend against attacks for that turn and also recover NP. Holy! Joshua, use this right, Chris. Oh my goodness. These guys are faster than me, that's for sure. Oh, I did- because I got closer to, uh, to this uh, uh, end of the circle, that helped me. Okay, but I still need more practice for timing. I think it would help if you- uh, if the- if there was a tutorial giving a- it, it, like an image of the circle for us to look out ahead of, ahead of time. That would allow us to get more used to the correct hitbox that we need to go for. Are you hurt? I'm a, I'll live. Thank you, Joshua. There's still more of these bastards. Ugh, I guess I'll I get more practice than I bargained for. Too many of them. R raise your shield, boy. Yes, sir. Here we come. Huh? Someone saved us? Atticans. You say it like a curse, Gamara. 
Do, not, do we not all come from the same forefather? You Atkins have come to steal our glory. Ha! Huh. I could have I could have you branded for treason. We agreed as a council to investigate Mount Sinai together as a unified faction. It's clear you Jehudans cannot handle this on your own. We do not need your help, nor do we ask for it. We didn't come when we did, your throat would have been Shadim Dinner. Enough of this. We are on the same side, or have you forgotten? We are both ancestors of Avram. I thought you were descendants of Avram. This is new territory for both peoples. Worse is underground. You're injured, I can heal your wounds. Hands off, boy. Oh, boy? I'm quite certain we're the same age. Veos! Come over here with your judges. You're a judge? Aren't you? Better wipe that smirk off your face, boy. You've got guts, soldier. I'll give you that. Could there be canines down here, brother? Unlikely. But if there are, we'll be right for them. We should move through the caverns of Mount Sinai together. With Atkins, never. Please, Gamora. Leave him, Kaiser. It's clear his pride is wounded. Enough of this pointless chatter. Good luck with your excavation, Alcandros. And to you, my dear Gamora. Watch your step, old man. Hoomph, pompous fool. Atkins, to me. Stay close to Gary and watch each other's backs. Even on the same side, there are multiple factions, huh? And uh, I really... I'm really gonna need some... Uh, 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 hmm. I'll, I'll have to take a screenshot of the, co of the uh, timing circle later on so I can figure out what to do. Fascinating creatures. You had good luck? Indeed I am. Uh, and I have. I've been close to the shooting before, but their biology never ceases to amaze. What's so amazing about them? Well, you see, they're mutants, half biological and half metallic. Some oracles and prophets theorize that Shadim are just animals that have been born with mutations. These mutations change their bodies and temperaments, making them more into monsters than mere animals. Some have even said it's not at birth that these mutations take place, but something in an animal's body that... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Turns on, ignites, evolves? I suppose that's as good an explanation as uh, any other. And when that process happens, the animal's body mutates into something unrecognizable. Careful, what is still alive? Reanimated Shadim? I suppose it could happen, but this monster is quite dead. But if an animal animals can become Shadim, who's to say that corpses can't become Shadim either? It's a frightening thought. You're an oracle, aren't you? I am an oracle. Honestly, there isn't much difference between oracles and prophets, only in name and sex. In our side of our division as the once unified nation, everyone would be ashamed of us, I think. We're all Eden Knights, are we not? I'll leave you your, to your research. Thank you, soldier. Even the common enemies... Uh, uh, even having Knights as common enemies isn't enough to completely unite them. Or even get them to cooperate on a basic level. More money. Those bastard Atticans think they're so special. Just because Atka was the first son of Aram does not mean he was a favorite son. Gamora can't stand the Atticans. Many Jehudans can't, uh, can't, and the Atkins feel the same way about us. It's all because of the Battle of Mount Sinai that took place here. Atkins blame Jehuda, saying we let their fallen carpets in that trap. Jehudans say the same about Atkins. Truth is, no one really knows. Plus, it's tremendous. I've heard Lamex swear it was because of the Atkins. I've heard him say that too. How can they do that to their own brethren? Doesn't make sense, though, Joshua. Many Atkins were lost too in the Battle of Sinai. Why would the Atkins do that to their own people? I'm afraid that, uh, that battle will be shrouded in mystery. I pray to the Cosmo creators that the mystery doesn't force a civil war upon us. That would be devastating. More money? You almost got yourself killed. I slew just as many Shadim as you did. You only slew two, or three actually. That's that's not bad for a beginner, but you still got a lot of healing items thrown at you. Ha, huh. don't be so eager to rush in a battle. It puts the rest of us in danger. That's This is why you're not a judge. Judges are level-headed. They analyze their enemy using a Reha before attacking. As I live in brief, are you giving me advice, Ham? I'm just telling you what you need to know so no more important, no one more important than you gets killed. If you're going to be with the judges, you might as well start acting like one. What do you have against me? I've done nothing to you. Your privilege. You think you, you think just because your father was a great judge that you can play at being a judge too? But it takes hard work to become one of the Cosmo Creator's selected warriors. I came from a poor cowardly family. My mother died giving birth to my sister, who was born weak and was sick all the time. And because we were poor, my father couldn't afford a medicine needed to heal her, and so she died. I was only six years old at the time. My father blamed himself, and eventually the death of his wife and daughter drove him to suicide. It was weak. They were all weak. I vowed then and there that I would never become like them. And so I joined the Jehudan army and worked my way to becoming a judge. I never knew that about you, Ham. I'm sorry to hear what happened to your family. It must have been devastating to watch all those you love pass away. 
It's very a pity. It thinks their depths I am stronger. The Cosmo Queers heaped tragedy on me so that I can, could be the man I am today. Go away, Joshua. What? What is a plain soldier doing here? I'm training to become a judge. Heh, <laughs> no, this is not a thing. This is not thing training grounds for a trainee. You saw the Shadim. You could have died. What do you want? Who is Alkendros? The leader of the Adkin faction of judges. He's also the one of the, the members of the council. As, as is the second in command, Kaiser G August. I've never seen a man fight as well as Alkendros. His movements are fast. The only thing faster than his sword arm is his intelligence. During the War of the Canines, he was the least strategist. I am proud to follow him. Instead, he's a direct descendant of Attica, Aram's son. It would be wise not to piss him off. Trying to become a judge. Okay. Is Bayos truly a judge? Who, Bayos? Oh, you mean Bayos Rahab. Aye, right, he's a judge. Don't let his age or gentleman nature fool you. I've seen him make short work of Shadim. He's the youngest son of Kaiser and the half of Romeus. He's also half like you. Like me? Hey, he's half Jehudin, from his mother. She was a judge too, but died in the battle at Mount Sinai. Hmm, do you know who my father is? No, I don't. And before you elaborate, know that I don't care. What do you want? Hmm. And after that, it's basically the same. Yes, speak, Jehudin. I know you. Perhaps you see me speak to Lamech. He and I are friends, despite that he is Jehudin and I am Anakin. We fought together in battles and hold the same ideals. Perhaps that's how you know me. That would explain it. Mystery solved. Now run along. Lamech beckons for you. Okay. There's an arrow there, but not an arrow on the right side. Weird. I should stay with the Jehudin who are first. I'm not welcome with the Anakins. Okay, so that is a useless path for now. Joshua. Yes, uncle? I've been thinking. Maybe you should return to Jericho. What? No, you can't be serious. It's too dangerous. Who knows what else lurks in these caverns? I'll be careful, I swear it. I need this, Lamech. The cosmic craters are watching over me, over us. They want the Jehudans to succeed. They're on our side. I know it. Whose side are the cosmic craters on? Jehuda? Attica? Maybe neither of us. They're against evil. So am I. You saw Gemara and Alcandros. We are a divided people. All thanks to the failure of the battle at Mount Sinai. Alright, listen to me. You can come along, but only if you stay close to the main force. Don't go off your on your own, do you hear me? Yes, sir, loud and clear. I won't lay you down. Good. See that you don't. And be wary of any Shadim you encounter. There's a chance they may turn unusually aggressive. What? Thank you. So, a random difficulty spike, huh? Thank you, Uncle, for your advice. I promise to make you proud. A random mutation. To make my father proud. Hurry, we don't have much time. The enemy is Legion. Are you certain this is a wise decision? Wait, are these the Knights? You would rather leave our people trapped in here. No, but still, this is risky. I can't believe I let you convince me. This was your plan, brother. The plan I was prepared to abandon. If Og and Sion saw us now, they would punish us. Surely, uh, severely, I might add. Mara would hang her s us herself. What we lack like in number, we can make up for in our abilities. This is our territory. It belongs to us. Does it? There's something about this place. I smell too. Death and corruption. Something unspeakable happened here. A great evil. Let the E-Knights have it. Yeah, these are K-Knights. They'll find our comrades and slaughter them. I can't allow that. I won't. Who's to say our comrades are still functional? Don't even joke about that. Come on, Elgon. We're doing this for our people. For our survival. We're, we're already too few. If there's even a chance that the Canaanites we find here are blessed, that I would risk my life for it. Ahix forbid! Everyone, let's move out. For Cain! For Cain! I guess from their perspective, they're the good guys and the Eden Knights are the bad guys, huh? Oh man, okay, touch encounters, but I don't- I'm not confident in my ability to run from all of them. And what if I need to heal outside of battle? Do I just automatically heal outside of battle, or do I have to talk to someone to heal me up? Red Chris. Uh, I need more equipment. I actually need TP skills, so I can actually- so I can start fighting back in ways other than elements. 
A place of rest? Oh, it's a healing point. Blessed be Cosmo Craters who sit upon the highest peak of, uh, uh, of the Great Mountain of Sinai. It's their home on Eden, a place of rest and fellowship. It's where male and female, Edenite and Canite, bow their heads and worship to the makers of the children of Hosanna. They worship... Wait, the Canites worship the same deity... Uh, 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 worship the makers as well? Huh. May Cosmo Craters be glorified. May Cosmo Craters bless us for a dozen, a dozen upon a dozen years. I guess it's to justify... Uh, uh, if I were to play a K-Knight protagonist, this would justify them being able to use the healing points too. Because they worship the same g gods. E-Knight and K-Knight will worship the Cosmo Craters? How can that be? All my life I've been taught the K-Knights are the sworn enemies of the Cosmo Craters. This sounds like a fanciful dream to me. I'll never worship alongside a K-Knight. Wow, leveled up. Burn! Still faster than me, huh? Heavenly! Okay, that's... Uh, seems the innermost circle I need to go for. Okay. But even if I win... Uh, even if I get a one-hit kill, I still sustain damage. It's a crystal. Absorbed... Wait, what? I just tucked it repeatedly and I get currency, I guess. Haha, ha, I'm too fast for you. Okay, Ruak. Ruak. And then there... The Devourer. The metal beast comes. The great Ahix. From the depths of the earth, the Devourer comes. Humanity slumbers, dreaming up the kingdom of heaven. As the Devourer sweeps the lands and swallows them whole. The Lord of Lords, Hosanna, floods the land. Ahix is cleansed from the lands and creation begins anew. The great Devourer rests, spying his time. It sounds like the Devourer is actually... It was actually intentionally... Created by the gods as part of a cleansing, uh, uh, destruction, and recreation process. Huh. This speaks of the time when Hosanna defeated Aix for the first time. It's a terrifying thought that Aix would swallow you in your sl sleep. It's a story to tell the children when they misbehave. Mother used to say it to me all the time when she'd want me to listen to her. You better listen to me or Aix will come to eat you, she'd say. I'll tell her I, I'll tell her I wasn't afraid of Aix, but everyone was. You could threaten adults with that story. Always made me do exactly what she wanted. Not that I call scaring your child half to death good parenting, but it wasn't exactly a like model child. Ruak. Talent. These eyes are kind of creepy. Are they actual eyes or just lights? The the maps do not have names on them, so I can't tell how close I am to the end. Mount Sinai Artifact? What? Collect three pieces to discover its meaning. I sense that I'm getting close to something. A boss battle? Could this be an interest in the Mount Sinai? Should I wait for Lemek and the others? No, I need to know for myself. Idiot! You're just gonna get separated from the group for the rest of the game if you do that. I got a story of my own. There's no harm in pressing further. I'll be ready. Oh my goodness. This protagonist is not very bright, is he? Not the per kind of person I, want to, uh, I trust my life with, that's for sure. Common sense dictates you do not enter boss rooms alone. Am I gonna fight the other, uh, the, uh, the K Knight? From before, from that cutscene? The gate, it's here. I found it. I found it. Haha. -ha. I found the gate in the Mount Sinai. The Cosmo Craters must have led me here. Everyone. Lamech, Gamora, come quick. I found the gate. I know how to enter Mount Sinai. Behind you. What? What? Where's that sound coming from? It's getting closer. From below me. I like it, Kaji. Damn it! This is what, that's what you get for trying to. to uh, that's what you get, man, for trying to uh, 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 abandon the buddy system. Mother, I hope you're watching over me, wherever you are. I can sure use your guidance right now. Oh no! I don't know. I'm playing some other dude. Do you have? Okay, you have ice and lightning. Brother, is this your first real mission as a judge? This is your first real mission as a judge of Attica. You nervous? Nervous? No, no. I was nervous at my graduation. This is more turning my stomach inside out. What would you call that emotion? Fear? Terror's another good descriptor. Honestly, it sounds like a stomach ailment to me. Remember all the stomach aches you had as, as a child? It was, that was because everyone used to make fun of me for being half Jehudin, including a certain someone's older half brother. That would be me. I judge myself for that every day. I should have been a better brother to you sooner. 
I can't blame you. You were angry at the world. I still am. That's why I became a judge, to make this world a better place for everyone. And I can and Jehudin alike. That's noble of you, brother. You feel the same, don't you? Yes. And no. I became a judge to learn more about Eden. It's knowledge I'm after. And if getting that knowledge means going through a dark abyss brimming of Shadim, so, then so be it. I have my magia and my sword. You'll do fine. You're smart and a skilled warrior. I have no doubt you'll find her again. Mother. That's what you're really after, isn't it? To find your mother. To find where she went. I didn't know where she went when she died. Where we all go after we die. She was the only one who made me feel like I belonged. I know I can never fill her shoes, but I hope one day I can take back all those terrible things I did to you when we were children. It's, it's in the past. I hope so. Come, we should get going. The way into Mount Sinai awaits. Bayo, is, is there something you need? No, father. Just making sure you're all right. You've been working too hard these days. You look tired, I mean... I mean, well... I am tired. I don't think I've had a decent night's rest in weeks. But I can't stop now while we're so close to Mount Sinai. If only the Hoons would work with us against, instead of against us. What are you studying? Old plans of Mount Sinai that I had when the prophets procured for me. But I can't make sense of it. Why not? Part of it is written in Canaanite. Really? I wonder what that could mean. The Canaanites occupied Mount Sinai before Aram took it back from them. It only makes sense that some of the plans would be written in Canaanite. But even though we fight the, uh, fight the metal men, we still have no idea who, who they are or what they, they're like. We can't even speak their language. Slaughter them f first and ask questions later. Ask questions is, is never is more like it. We're judges, not inquisitors. And judgment hasn't passed. Too late to learn from them now. The war is over. The Canaanites are finished. So it seems. I should get back to this, Bayos. Save Eljot. Yes, father. Oh, we, we take a different path, huh? What is it, Half-Reed? Shouldn't we join the Jehudans? Join the enemy? Never. You would consider them enemies. Aren't they our, our brethren? Attica and Jehuda may have been twins, but Attica was the first to leave his mother's womb. Everyone knows that, even the Jehudans. They only like to hide that fact. We might need their help. Nonsense. My Attica and judges can handle anything that comes between us and Mount Sinai, whether that be Canaanite or Shadim. Damn the Jehudans, we can't let them beat us. Well said, Half-Reed. I'm surprised. Wasn't your mother a Jehun? Don't you feel anything for your other half? I was raised in Akin and I will die in Akin. That's the spirit, Bayos. Someday I may even be able to overlook your Jehun blood. Why? You, so you can say one thing and say another. That's just that's just weird. How do you become the leader of the Akins? When our previous leader died in the battle at Mount Sinai, the Akin judges were thrown into turmoil. We had no successor and lost many good men at the battle of Mount Sinai. But while the others were torn by the tragic events of the battle, I took it upon myself to lead the Akins. It's a burden I proudly bear. A burden, not a privilege. Can it not be both? Didn't you declare yourself a leader a, leader a day after the ballot at Mount Sinai? I don't like it what you're insinuating, half -read. Someone had to take control of the Anakin judges. That's someone it was and is me. Now be gone with you. It's nothing. Excuse me, Alcantros. Find a way into Mount Sinai, half -read. No one knows what we'll find down here. The knowledge is lost on us. Could it be a gate, a door, a gate or doorway, maybe a passage? Ancient history speak to a large ornate gate made of indestructible metal, but no one truly knows. An indestructible metal sounds like hyperbole to me. Perhaps the gate was destroyed in the infernal blast from the Mount, Mount, Mount Sinai. Who can say? Why is Mount Sinai shrouded in mystery? No one's been inside it for hundreds of years. Not even Akka and Jehuda have been inside Mount Sinai. Their far or far forefather, Avram, he was the only one who had been within the uh, mountain. He and his warriors, as well as his cousin Lot. There is little, very little information about that time. A knowledge we hope to discover, rediscover today. I hope so, Bayos. It would be an oracle stream to be able to cite the inner sanctum of Mount Sinai. That's the last thing I need for the art I can judge us to see me join the Jehun forces. I can't. I can hear it now. Traitor, half read. I'm not in the mood to deal with that right now. All right. Do do, do does weakness information carry over to the other protagonists? That's the question. Please the only one, dude. Oh, come on. It's a different type of enemy. Good thing I saw... I think the healing items carried over, too. Earth. Lightning and wind. Do I have those? Yes. How deep do these go?
One talent. Wreck. Okay. Attack the enemy. Okay, I know... What? Oh, they're mutants! I'm doomed. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Ugh, barely survived. I didn't even get that many good rewards from that. Shoot. Ruak. Ruak again. Another artifact. Yes. Oh, that's an important looking chest. Reha. Ruak. What are you? Blank Crystallos? Uh, can I equip? What am I supposed to do with a blank Crystallos? I have to refine it at any Oak of Moray to obtain Divine or Elemental Magia. Okay, we mine that completely, but I can't even spend it anywhere. Where is this Oak they speak of? Restoration. The water subsides from the planets, leaving a wild wasteland across the darkest depths of the universe. With the able of Ivan Behemoth, who has ended resources of creation following the banishment of Ahix, he recreates the, the planet's Shale and Eden, and then the people from his very soul to Paris creation. Lastly, he forms the Cosmo Creators to shepherd his people. The restoration was a golden age for the people of Hosanna who lived on the planet of Shale. We Eden Knights weren't created yet, and likely wouldn't have been if Cain hadn't appeared. Hosanna hadn't fully defeated Ahix, which leads us to the day and the purpose we Eden Knights have defeat the Cain Knights and protect Sheol. I've been exploring these caverns for a while now. I must be getting closer to something. A gateway, maybe, or something else. Wait, his path does not converge with the other guy's path. We're going totally different directions. And there might be a boss ahead. A broken monument. Is it a dead end? Should we have fall? Uh, do we have to take the Jahoon path? There's nothing here. Damn it. Keep searching. We can't let those horse sons find a way befo in before we do. Horse sons? Come on now, El Elkandros. The Jahoons are our brethren. I won't hear that unified talk, especially from you, Kaisar. Because of those fools, your wife was killed. We were killed by wife, not Jehudin's. For Cosmo Creator's sake, she was a Jehudin. Enough. How dare you take the Cosmo Creator's name in vain? Keep searching. There's nothing here, El Kendros. We'll have to double back. We went the wrong way. Impossible. We are blessed by the Cosmo Creator, so we don't lead us down the wrong path. I want that gate. Find it now. Yeah, you really did go the wrong path. You're literally the opposite direction. What's this all about, El, El Kendros? Council agreed we will explore this mountain together. You're part of that decision. Or is this about your pride? How dare you speak to me like that? I'm your superior. You're a judge, as am I. We are equals. Being married to a Jehun has weakened your resolve. Your very bloodline is tainted. What'd you say? Wait, everyone. Do you hear that? Hear what? Hear what, Bayos? I hear... Digging. Digging? It's an ambush! Oh, now I'm playing as you, huh? We've dug this far through. As long as we avoid the Eden Knights, we should be okay. If only we'd gotten here sooner. We have to find the other Knights before the Eden Knights do. If the Eden Knights find them, they're as good as dead. And that would could mean the end for us. Yup. I guess I do have to play as you. You have an accessory? That's... Uh, uh, huh. You have three elements. Earth, wind, and light. I'm glad the Eden Knights are here. 
I sharpened Flesh Render just for them. Who or what is Flesh Render? Flesh Render, my spear. This spear belonged to my father. I sleep with it by my side every night. He must be quite a talented spearman. Most Knight soldiers prefer the axe because it's what we use for digging in the Abzu. You can dig with axes? I prefer the spear. It's lighter, making me faster. Have you ever had to use Flesh Render before? On a few of them. She's never tasted in night flesh, though. Flesh Render is a woman? The only woman I need in my life. Save and accept my dearest mom, of course. She must be worried sick about me. I'm sure she is, but don't worry. You will see her again soon. Flesh Render will see to it. You hate the Eden Knights that much. Don't we all? They, they started this war, not us. They destroyed our homes, took our loved ones. We live in fear now. I can never forgive them for that. They also... My father was a soldier. He died in the war. I barely even remember him. I was too young when he died. More than anything, I hate the Eden Knights for that. For taking him from me before I even had a chance to know him. I'm sorry, Karan. Thank you, Rufia, but sadly it's not an uncommon story. And now we're faced with extinction. I can't let that happen. My father fought and died so that I and my mother could live. I want to do the same. That's why I joined this mission. Even if it's dangerous, even if it may cost my life, I couldn't just sit there and do nothing. How old are you, Karan? I'm 16 years old, Rufia. Two years younger than me. I thought I would be the youngest on this mission. We all have something to contribute to this mission. So many of us are tired of living in the darkness of Abzu. This is the first time I've ever left Ur. Really? Yes, I'm not alone in that either. Still, I have to make sure no harm comes to any of you. We've made this far without any danger other than Shadem. We trust you, Rufia, both you and Elgon. And when we return home with the others, it'll be all be worth it. And maybe we can take back her land. Strange, I thought she would experience discrimination for having human blood. Stay strong, we're almost there. Thanks, Rufia. I'll make sure Flesh Runner and I are ready for whatever may come our way. Talent obtained. I can't believe we made the Mount Sinai without being seen by the Eden Knights. I couldn't have done it without your tracking abilities, brother. You got us this far. You think I, I'd let you lead us on your own? Not in your life. I'll protect you no matter what comes our way. Shadem Eden Knight. Shadem Eden Knight. Shadem Eden Knight? Don't, don't think something like that exists. You never know what these Eden Knights are capable of. Bestiality? They want, 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 and take, take, take. But the point is that no matter what we face, I'll be there for you. Thanks, brother. I know I can count on you. Every time I see you swing your sword, you remind me of Dad. Ha! Huh. I don't think I'm as good as he is. I, pro I probably remind you of him because I'm using one of the swords. You're a lot like him. You watch over both me and my mother, and you don't have to. Don't have to? Are you crazy, sis? You're my half-sister. And your mother may not be my mother, but as long as she treats me like one of her own, I will treat her like my own mother. I couldn't ask for a better brother. It takes bless me of that, at least. I could, be, I could be better, and I promise you I will be. Once we find the arcane knights trapped in the Mount Sinai, we'll be seen as heroes. It's a huge risk. Do you think, really think they could still be there? We used to occupy this mountain. We did for a long time. I'm certain there are arcane knights here. Blessed even, not like us. I pray the eggs that you're right, Elgon. I am. There's a reason we're here. I feel in my circuitry. I do too. A mechanical life form. Whatever circuitry I do have. Plenty. You are one of us, Rufia. Regardless of your skin or alloy. After this, maybe I will finally belong with all of you. Where, what was that sissy? Mumble something? It was nothing. Let's head out. I'm right behind you. At least she has a pretty supportive family. Blue Chris. Ruak. What was that? Shirash, I swear to Ahix I saw something. This is, a this is a strange place, Rufia. It's not like the Abzu. The sounds are different. The smells even. You're right. This isn't like home. I keep looking over my shoulder, expecting to see a Shadem. Or worse, an Eden Knight. If we stick together, we'll be fine. Wait, if we find our, uh, an Eden Knight or K Knight, will they have elemental weaknesses of their own? Probably based on what elements they can innately use. We are strong in number. And the underground is our home, no matter what it might look, smell, or sound like. This was Kane's Mountain. I've got to keep remembering that. Maybe if I say Kane's Mountain over and over again, I'll feel better. How old are you, Jerosh? Fifteen this year, Rufia. You're so young. Too young for this mission. But I'm good for next. I am, Rufia. I've come this far. You have, and I can't leave you alone in this place. Don't worry, Jerosh. I'll, it'll, it'll be fine, I promise you. We'll find our lost weapon and bring them back safely with us. Do you really think they could be blessed? Could they save us all? I have to believe that. I think we all do. Don't worry about me, Rufia. I won't let her, you or Elgon down. I'll make you both proud. I know you will. Well, be sure to stay in the middle of the group. Let those more experienced in combat take the front rear. We'll protect you. I'll follow your lead, Rufia. Why couldn't Joshua be that uh, 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 be that cooperative, huh? Let's see if we can handle your first enemy. 
Oh, hell no, it's... At least it's one and one. Wind is your weakness. Ow. Okay, good. Timing it right still one-shots them. Oh, is that an artifact? Yes! Artifact discovered. Excavators broken axe. Canines are expert excavators and diggers. Canines use the source of access to dig around the Abzu, the underground. Some axes can be used for both fighting and digging, others just for fighting. This axe is primarily used for digging, and it seems to have been used until it finally broke. Dang it, I was hoping it would be a weapon. Only a few. Mount Sinai must not be open to just anyone. Only the truly holy, the truly devoted, and the truly loyal are able to enter its deepest chambers. Only the few shall be granted entrance. To so stand at the highest peak and call upon Adam and Eve, Uranus and Gaia. Only the elect shall call upon their makers and bring peace to the land once more. Only the few? And who exactly would that be? Is it predetermined? The Enites can't even agree on the names of their makers, the Cosmo creators. Is it Adam and Eve or Uranus and Gaia? Or maybe something else entirely. All Sabbath does is point out uh, point to how ridiculous they are. Cursed place. I lost count of how many days have passed since I was trapped in this cursed place. I'm alone. All my comrades have long since died. I fear I will be joining them soon. I can't stop shivering. And it's not cold down here. I think I see shapes moving in the shadows. The Shadem crowd around me. If someone finds this ladder, please tell my... Uh, Adelpha that I'm sorry. I should have listened to her. I should have stayed with her. Now I'll never get a chance to see her again. The darkness grows even darker. And my eyelids weigh heavily. If I just close my eyes for only a moment, will they come for me? So many lives are lost. Even if this, if this man was the enemy, I can feel his fear. What a lonely way to die. Ruak, okay, I'm pretty sure the side path here is optional, so I'm gonna go there first. Yeah. Ruak. Red Chris. No, Ruak, wait. It continues? The heck? Does it all connect to the same place? This makes no sense. I haven't run to any other Knights, but they have to be here. Some must have survived the battle here. I can't give up hope. I'll find the survivors and bring them back home with us. I just hope they're still functioning. Oh, so that means there's a, sto a story event here. Whoops. In other words, I should probably head to the other entrance first and see if there's any goodies. Ooh, treasure. Elemental Nectar. Uh, is that an optional boss or something? I better save. I, I think I'm so I should come- maybe I should come back here with the other people. He's frozen solid! I shouldn't stay out here for too long. Wait! He's holding something! Should I see what it is? I really shouldn't be taking anything from the dead. Even a dead Eden Knight. I'm guessing if I take something from you, something bad happens. Oh man, this is scary. It's Why should she get some weird optional boss thing and the others didn't? What is it? Let's see. This looks like Crystallos. Blank. He didn't attack me! What? What? Well, maybe I can... Well, good thing I picked it up because it looks like it might be important. Okay, so once I go in there, an event will happen. Well, I'm not going to converge with the uh, uh, with the other two because they're taking different paths, right? Story event? Okay. What? Wait! I'm on your side! I'm on you, a fellow K-Knight. You look like an Eden Knight to me. And all Eden Knights must die. Oh, come on! No, no, I'm not an Eden Knight. I'm like you. I'm from Ur. I've come to bring you and your brethren home with us. Liar. We've all been trapped here for more than a decade. You couldn't finish us off. How do I prove that? Do I have to just guard until he lets me live? I don't know. He doesn't have a weakness anyways. Do I just guard? What's the right choice? If he doesn't have a weakness, maybe I should just guard and see if he... See if he leaves me alone. I come in peace. No, I swear to you, my father was Marduk, the Anakim. More lies, your death is my gift to Ahix. Do I just guard until he goes away? He seems to regen every turn anyways. Yeah, he's still regenning. What the heck? Guard. Enough. Yes, I was right. 
My instincts have proven me right! You, you're a Knight. What are you doing with the likes of her? She's one of us. She's my sister. What, your sister? What's happened to all these years? Look, Burr, his sarks. It's generating. By eggs, you're not cursed. Your sarks has not hardened. Tell us, please, there are more of you. Where are your compa companions? Yes, there are more of us. This is the protected gate from the Eden Knights. The gate. I'm glad my uh, I'm glad my uh, experience with RPGs paid off here for once. Damn it, Joshua. Heal. I was careless, and now my arm. Stay with me. Keep your eyes open. The gate. It's here. I found it. Jehudin, destroy the K Knights. No, we need to retreat. Retreat. Don't be foolish, Lamech. There's only one canine. Kill him. There's probably an army of them. They have us surrounded. Canines. Is everyone all right? Atkins, prepare her, ba her battle. Protect your fellow Knights. Whoa. They have weaknesses now. Well, I am not one of you, so I am not obligated to protect you. What's your weakness? They have regen, which is going to be super difficult to deal with. Lightning? Do I have that? Oh, man. Doing this alone is kind of bad, don't you think? Still got to get one shot. Good. But I have to win in one shot because they regen. Okay, good. I leveled up, so that means I don't have to use any potions. Stop! Wait, what? Who are you? I've never seen her before. She's not a judge. Look at her skin. Parts of her meld like a canine. I don't know her either, but she's beautiful. Shipping them already. Lower your weapons. We don't want to fight. We only came to save our comrades. You think we're going to let you live? There's no point in this needless bloodshed. Knights, please stop fighting. All you Knights want is bloodshed. You've killed countless Eden Knights. Your god Ahix is an abomination. You don't know what you're doing. You can't fathom the evil that exists here. This mountain should be sealed for good. It brings only destruction. Can you see that? Let's take our comrades and go back to Ugarit. There are more of you still alive after war. For now. It means the war isn't finished. Judges! It's no use, Rufia. We have to go. No, I'm not leaving them. We rather die? We surround you and your n numbers exceed yours. Please, lower your weapons, and I promise you, we won't continue this fight. All we want is to go back home. We'll never surrender to the K-Knights. This is not going well. Damn. Kill them. No. Have you gone mad, Halfreed? Bales, what are you saying? Hear me out, please. We haven't seen a canine in almost a decade. We may need them. They occupy this mountain for a time. They may know the secrets better than we do. Our prophets and oracles will unveil those secrets. Who knows how long that will take? We have to see this as an opportunity. It's true that the canines lived in this mountain in the time of the Avram. If we took the canines as prisoners, maybe we could learn more about this place. Exactly. I agree. We'll take what we can learn from them. Their lives are in our hands now. Hmph. I suppose we could always execute them after. We won't hurt you. On my honor as a judge, we won't. But you will have to surrender and come with us. Rufio, what do we do? The only thing we can do. Lower your weapons, K-Knights. Are you sure about this? Some of them don't seem very trustworthy. Lost his arm already, huh? What would the twist is that Joshua comes back as some kind of cyborg antagonist? I don't know. Erm. Um, my arm. The canine surprised you. I'm sorry, but your arm. It's supposed to be some kind of nightmare. I can assure you this isn't a dream. But you're alive. And other than your arm relatively unhurt. Alive? But without my sword arm. Wait. I know you. You're not Anakin Judge. 
You healed me. I banished your wound ha and I've been keeping watch over you. You're a healer too. Is there anything you can't do? Cook. What? I can't cook. I cooked for my brother once. He was sick for three days. So that's one thing I can't do. But other than that, I'm quite a superb Eden Knight. Obviously quite modest too. Erg. Easy now. You've been out of it for a week. A week? What happened at Mount Sinai? Never mind Mount Sinai. You need to rest. There's a lot you need to nick. Tell me what I lost my arm for. Please. I need to know. We managed to capture the K-Knights. There were two groups of them. There was a group that attacked you. It seems they have been living in Mount Sinai all these years. And the other group... They are... Young. That's the only way I can put it. They're as old as you and I. You clearly must be older than me. Why? Because I'm a judge and you're not? Bothers you that much, doesn't it? Go on. So K Knights are young, what of it? The young K Knights hail from Ur, the old capital of the K Knights in Ugarit. Ur? But we destroyed Ur in the war. Did we? Perhaps some managed to escape, including a woman who looks. Looks? Like one of us. But she claims to be a K Knight. And she has metal parts. Let's try this again. Now where, am I, now where am I close? Over here. I can help you. No, I need to do this on my own. So this woman, is she a blasphemer? I honestly couldn't tell you. Every way you're lucky to be alive. I don't feel lucky. If I could give you your arm back, I would. So much for this being a superb in so much for being a superb Eden knight. I suppose I should thank you for taking care of me. Would it help if I told you I'm only half Atakin? Heh. <laughs> it does help, actually. My mother was a Jehudan judge. She died at the Battle of, at Mount Sinai. Ah, I'm sorry. I lost my father too in that battle. I mean, we have a commonality, even if it's in tragedy. Come in. Ah, you finally, you're finally awake. That he is. How are you feeling? Alive. That's good news. You've woken up at the right time too. The sin offering is about to begin. Lamech will be there. I should go see him. Let him know, um, that you're alright. Lamech? Oh yes, a Jehudan elder. He's come to visit you every- He's come to visit you every chance he gets. He's like a father to me. I can tell. You should be good enough to walk around. But don't push yourself too hard. I'll be careful. Is he a judge? No, but he wanted to be. With that injury, he'll never fight again. Don't bet on it. Unless he gets a cyborg arm. A man of that kind of spirit. He's not likely to give up so easily. Regardless, shall we begin? Oh no, is he going to interrogate that, that guy? Jericho. How could he be so careless? Whoever heard of a one-armed judge, or even a one-armed soldier? I can't give up hope. I can still carry a weapon in my left arm. Uh, but it's a shame... Uh, 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 but it's a shame I forgot to Lamak. And my mother must be worried sick. I can't do anything about that now. I have to see Lamak. The sin offering will be taking place at a sacrificial chamber. It's north of the main hallway. Wow, it actually changed the sprite completely. He can't even equip a weapon anymore. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Elohim Eternal. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.